Hello, my name is Graham Brannan, Specialty Doctor in Anaesthetics here at the University Hospital of Crosshouse. And today we're going to introduce you to the Storz CMAC video laryngoscope and show you how to connect the, the fibre optic scope and toggle between the two. And the second part of this video will be how to do the Tristel uh, sterilisation process on the laryngoscope blade. This is a general example of how you may find the CMAC in its stack. Um, you may have to retrieve the fibre optic scope from main theatre corridor, or it may be in the, the stack ready to use. To turn the scope on, the button's on the, this corner, just press it. It takes a few seconds just to warm up and uh, be ready to use. To connect the fibre optic scope, take the connector to the side port, again marry up the arrows and very gently push forward, you'll hear a small click when it's engaged, there's no twisting again involved, and then that allows you to change between the video laryngoscope and the fibre optic. To remove the connector, Gently hold the grey collar on it and pull straight back and it'll just gently slide out again. Notice. The CMAC video laryngoscope allows the user to take pictures. This can be activated by this blue button here or on the main screen by a separate user. The CMAC video laryngoscope blades are reusable. We use the Tristel Trio Wipe system this is uh, all the equipment that you need for that. Today, we've got test in, but normally patient label would go here. The item is the CMAC video laryngoscope blade. The serial number is a unique number for each blade. 8403 AXC in this case, which goes in here. The date and the time. Each wipe is numbered one. have a lot number and expiry date which is all documented. 2 so comes with a sticker which goes in and then you're ready to do the process. So to start the cleaning process remove any obvious contamination just with um, running water and then you're ready for wipe number one. This is a pre-clean, just make sure all the blade is wiped down and the handle. And you want to make particular care around the small lips. And you do this for about 15 to 20 seconds. Step 2 involves the activator foam and wipe 2A. Have the wipe, three squishies, and you activate the, the mixture for 15 seconds, making sure it's all spread, and then proceed to carefully wipe the rest of the blade. And you do this for 30 seconds. The final stage is with wipe number three. And again, just continue to wipe the blade. And do this for 15 to 20 seconds. Once this stage is complete, your laryngoscope blade is used, ready to use on your next patient. When cleaning the fiber optic scope, it's important again to remove obvious contamination and to suction normal saline through the side port 
even if there is no suction used. When packaging the fibre optic scope back in its box, it's important to put patient information uh, along with the date, time the scope was used. And on this piece of paper you'll find a cycle number and a serial number which should also be documented. The red cover then goes on the, the box and the box is delivered to the endoscopy used goods for further decontamination.